got a new discovery today, and I want to share this with you. I'm leaving for Egypt uh, in just a little over a month, and so please leave in the comments uh, after you watch this, uh, if you do, <laughs> um, it, something, it's something you'd like me to search out. Maybe there's some mystery there and you don't have it in your plans to go to Egypt, and I get around quite a bit there, and uh, I, I love to chase these things down. So, uh, you know, give me a shout if you want me to try. I'm, I am going to have a, a private entrance with my group into the Great Pyramid on uh, October 20th. And we'll be in there from 5 to 7 in the morning. So we'll have the Great Pyramid to ourselves. Uh, and uh, so that's a time I can get to places that the public doesn't go. You know, the Queen's Chamber, Subterranean Chamber. So again, uh, you know, let me know if there's something you want. So today we're looking at a discovery made on the top of the Great Pyramid. I just made this. Now, of course, I wasn't physically up there. You know, they've, they've, they've heavily penalized that. Now, it's actually kind of silly. No offense, Egypt. But when you make a law that says, you know, you get a minimum, because there's signs on the plateau that say the penalty for climbing, a climbing any monument in Egypt, but, but these signs are right next to the Great Pyramid, any monument in Egypt is 30 days in jail minimum, plus a 100,000 Egyptian pound fine. That's minimum. Now, it's a silly law because I've, you know, I've been there when the kids come, you know, on the days when the schools are off. Maybe it's a, you know, a Muslim holiday and there's a lot of kids on the plateau. And there's so many of them, all the guards can't keep up. So kids are climbing on the pyramids and the monuments all over the place. So you're going to give all those kids 30 days in jail? Come on. So it's a silly law. You should, you know, you could, you, sh you can make severe penalties. But the law should say something like it is against the law to climb monuments in Egypt you know, minimum penalty is, uh, you know, a $500 fine or say something like that, which is plausible. But if the minimum penalty is 30 days in jail, I see people climbing on your mon monuments all the time and they're not getting 30 days in jail. So why would you make a law that you don't enforce that doesn't look good for your country? Sorry, because <laughs> I do love ancient Egypt. Don't demonize me. Remember, I love ancient Egypt. I love what you love. I just don't, I just think it's kind of silly to make a law that says if I climb up to the top of the Great Pyramid, I'm going to get a minimum of 30 days in jail because <laughs> you don't do that. Okay. So this is the top of the Great Pyramid. It's a 201st course. And by the way, everybody has this wrong. If this is the current height of the Great Pyramid, and let's assume it is, this is the 201st course. You're looking at it, you know, because we got these drone footage now. They're taking these great pictures. We, we know this is what it looks like. And so that's the 201st course. It's not the height that Wikipedia and everybody else says. It just isn't, okay? So how do we find out? Well, you could triangulate and stuff, but you, I go to Flinders Petrie, the father of Egyptology. He's generally respected by both alternatives and Egyptologists because he was a very thorough researcher. And so he used his uh, surveying equipment, I'm sure, to, you know, to get the height of the 201st course. So you can get the height of the 201st course from Flinders Petrie. So why would you believe everything on Wikipedia and everywhere else if we're calling the current top of the Great Pyramid what you're looking at here? Now, obviously, there's a few stones stacked on top of the Great Pyramid. So, you know, do we measure the... Dubai Tower by the antenna or by the actual building. Okay, yeah, so if you want to measure to the top of those stones, that still doesn't come to the height everybody gets, believes because of Wikipedia and everything for the height of the Great Pyramid. So use Slender's Petri. That's what I did to make this discovery. Okay, I'll, I'll show you. So I discovered the Holy Shaft. If you followed my program, you see this. It makes an incredible uh, 504 ancient cubit radius circle touching the four great monuments right around it. The Great Pyramid, the Great Sphinx, Kenkawis, and the Khafre Pyramid. And so the uh, circumference of that circle is uh, 3,168 ancient cubits, 3168. So let's look at Stonehenge. We'll take the Sarsen Circle, and it's 316.8 feet. So you can see the connection of numbers between Stonehenge and, the, and my holy circle here. Let's take the Blue Stone Circle. It's 50.4 feet, 504, and you've got the 504 radius of the holy circle. Okay, so let's square uh, the holy circle, and of course you get, that's what it means to square the circle, you get a perimeter of 3168, just like the circumference was, okay, and let's square the Sarsen circle over here, and of course the perimeter is 3168, that's what it means to square the circle, all right, so Great Pyramid, the perimeter of the Great Pyramid is 31,680 Egyptian inches, there it is again, 3168, so just to show you that, get a view of that, that top on the Great Pyramid, that's uh, 31680, Egyptian inches. Okay. So uh, let's there. So there's the top we're talking about, the 201st course. Okay. So uh, the width of that is 42 feet, which is 504 inches. That was my discovery. Like, wow, 
that, that just connects this to, to, to all the other 504s here, okay? And then if you make a circle with that 504 inches as the diameter, in other words, a tangent, uh, a circle tangent to, to the square from the current top of the Great Pyramid, the 201st course, you get 3,168 inches as a circumference. Oh my goodness, okay? So we got these three one six eights everywhere. And, oh, and let's not forget, because the whole the importance of all this is if you draw a square around the circle or the oblate spheroid of the planet Earth, it's thirty one thousand six hundred eighty miles. Three one six eight. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. So the Great Pyramid channels planet Earth in Egyptian inches in its base and modern English inches, British inches, imperial inches in its top. A modern discovery in modern measures. Wow, wow, <laughs> incredible, incredible. And uh, you know, there's more I could say about this, but uh, you know, as I said, I'm heading for Egypt in a month. And so in the comments, if there is something you'd like me to chase down in Egypt, uh, you know, something that, that you're not going to get there, but you'd like to know the skinny on something, you know, I'd be glad to try and, you know, uh, do that for you because I always get there uh, days before my tourists and I use those days to do research, which is my real love in going to Egypt. I just do the tours to make a little money and plus it's fun and you, and you meet great people and I've got some great people coming on this tour. You know, my Egyptian handler said, okay, we're done, we're capped. The tour is capped, but you know what? If you really want to go, I bet I could, you, we, you, you know, we might have to put you in a little different location because, you know, it's, it's, it's past COVID time now. At least we got this little window of travel. Egypt's not requiring anything to get in. That's the first time in a while. Uh, the U.S. is not requiring something when you come back. So it's really a good time to travel because, you know, this window could close. So this is a time to go to Egypt. You know, pitch me and we'll see if we can fit you in. But otherwise, just ask me what you want me to research for you on that plateau. Thanks for watching. Um, please subscribe. Uh, you know, buy me a cup of coffee. There's a link in the description there to do that. And uh, I appreciate you watching.